right, y'all. I know y'all been waiting for some new stuff for me to show you. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do Fang over Fang, right? Great, great Taijutsu. It's one of my favorite Taijutsus in the whole show. Um, you know, Kiba and his clan, they do it. They're real cool with Ninkin. And those are like, you know, ninja animals, right? They use animals as, you know, it's, it's cool. It's hunters, you know, smell things. It's all good stuff. But one of the coolest things that Kiba ever did was Fang over Fang. Like, that's one of his things, go-to moves. But they would perform, to perform the passing Fang technique, where, where they would rotate their bodies and deliver, you know, a rapid body blows at the target. You know, it's crazy. It is crazy good. But this, that's just regular passing Fang. We're talking about Fang over Fang, which is, yeah, insane. Both of them, both of them. You're essentially putting out a beast human clone and that clone and you are in tandem into a devastating ultra attack. And I, I for one, <laughs> one of my favorite attacks ever. So I wanted to replicate it in the game. The best way I know how, honestly, is, you know, this. You gotta have those cat gloves, right? <laughs> the kitten me, right? <laughs> um, now, you get them from 1010, obviously, right? right? She, she's, she's the one with them. But they're pretty good, they're pretty good. But this is how you're gonna use them. I, I know, like, people don't have them, so you can use chocolate claws, you can use the, the yellow ones, um, and it would look similar like this if you're using those uh, to try to do the fang over fang. Cause that's what you're gonna need to do or it's if it's just solo you just solo because i know and you're like well, how are you supposed to do that we don't have nick in this game but but there's a way you can do that but for solo endeavors right you're gonna have to do it by yourself it's gonna just be the regular jutsu which is passing fang now passing fang is something you do solo so basically that's what we're doing right here is passing fang now i use these kitten mittens kitten mittens to do them because they they the aesthetics look amazing it looks just like it like if you're seeing like as it on the show it looks just like it so that's why i'm using it like this um honestly it's, it's the best way to do it uh because if you if you do the chocolate claws as you're seeing it's cool you can infinite and, and you know combo and all that stuff but it really doesn't have that same feel it really doesn't really look like it you know what i mean i'm trying to i'm trying to go for the look more than anything now this allows you to honestly look like it is the kitten mint me that really looks like it, right? So that's that's what I'm using right now. And I feel like those are the best for this, honestly. So um, as you're seeing right now, like you could spin and spin, it's all good, but I don't know, like I really, I really like the kid men's, right? I like the combos and stuff you can get off, but it looks just like passing Fang. Now, in order to do Fang over Fang, you're gonna need the ninja tool, with the scientific ninja tool um shadow clone now when you pop that off it will give you like a little small clone like a little distraction and that's what you're going to use and then level three boom level three that's all you got to do all right once you use level three you're, it's over there's your fang over fang right that's your actual fang over fang but in order to do the regular passing fang you just do the triangle jump triangle you already know how it goes with the triangles in this game but that's all you're going to need to do and that's how you do it guys basically and you can do a stun so glimmering flame tool is good for stuns also um you can do imperial wrath you already know how that is that's just sub locking you can just infinite all day as you're seeing right here just go ahead and infinite but if you want to do a regular passing fang you're going to need these claws or a regular chocolate claws and boom, you got it. You got Kiba's move in here. Something we've been waiting for all day. We don't really need a DLC. It's right here, right in front of you guys, man. So there it is. Um, one of my favorite moves is, you know, Fang over Fang or Fang passing Fang. And here is passing Fang. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. Did you like it? Did you think this is Fang over Fang? Does it look like it? I and mean, what, what what did you like? Did you like Fang over Fang in the show? Is Kiba one of your people? Do you like Kiba? Let me know in the comment section, man. I really want to know, man. But uh, this is fang over fang, man. That's how to do it, man. This is really is. Just triangle it out, man. That's all you got to do is just triangle. Repeat. Rinse and repeat. Or you hit the stock, as you're seeing right here. Boom. You hit the clone. That's, that's going to be your Akamaru. And then, boom. You hit the level three. And that is your fang over fang. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next episode, all right? Peace. Oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> this don't work. Tomorrow's move don't work no more, right? <laughs> it, 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 all you have to do is scoot forward, guys. Just be good old L2. Just skip forward and her move is just, it's not working. All right, just press L2 and go forward. Here's some gems for y'all. You're so stupid. Put those fires in the chat.
Put those feelings in the chat. Put those thoughts in the chat. Put those blessings in the chat.